step number six is holding, which Ben says is the hardest one. This is about two to three minutes. Um, about 10 to 15 throws. So the description says wind up any throw, forehand, backhand, hammer. When you get to the point of the throw, which you will only go forward, you want to stop. Okay. So for example, backhand. Right now, I'm only going to go forward. So I'm going to stop here and hold it for five to six seconds, counting out loud. And then when I reach five to six seconds, throw it. Um, and so the first goal is to develop patience. Just because you have a throw ready does not mean it's the correct time to throw, and your opportunity may improve by waiting. The second goal is to learn to throw without being tied to your windup. We all know examples of people that can only throw when they include their usual windup as part of the throw. This is all mental. Those people are preyed upon by poaching defenders and quick breaks, quick marks. Break the habit of your early tell and your windup crutch. Okay? So we're getting rid of, you know, only being able to throw backhand like that. Especially if we have a really weird backhand, a really weird forehand where forehand might be like this now I'm pausing here and then I'm able to throw from here and I start realizing that this is really useless I can still get a good throw like this so then you start getting rid of that and you know maybe develop a quicker forehand with a backhand you'll see some people like maybe do weird things as well but because you're pausing and developing patience okay and especially the step before where we were pulling back and looking at the making sure the disc was flat Combining these two drills together will really help you improve your throw, get rid of the inefficiencies and the noise. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh! Yeah. No vertical today. You can even practice stall counts this way. So one. It's neat because as you pull back, you're actually working on balance as well. Okay, making sure that you can maintain that position. If you have a really tough um, pivot, so if you're stepping out like really far or something and you're really off balance, then it's gonna be really hard for you to hold on to that throw. So it'll really help you develop balance as well in the throw. 